Welcome back. In today's session, we will be looking at how to message students in your Canvas using your gradebook. This is the most simple yet effective way of reaching every student in your class. So without a further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, this channel is all about educational tools, tips and technology. So if you don't want to miss out on all the fun, please make sure you subscribe. Here I'm on my Canvas dashboard. I'm going to go ahead and pick my stats class. And today we are emailing or messaging or reaching out to our students through gradebook column. To do that, I'm going to click on grades. And here I have all these grades. I don't want to scroll through them, but I want to filter my grades by clicking on view, filter and modules. I'm only interested in module three homeworks because that's what they should be working on now. Let me go ahead and demonstrate. I will pick. Let's just say I'm going to pick 9.1.2. So I'm going to click on these three ellipses and I'm going to click on message students who. And as you can see, I have 10 students who have not submitted this assignment and this is defaulted. So as soon as you click on message students who Canvas automatically defaults it to students who have not yet submitted. But when you click on this little arrow here, you can message students whose assignment have not been graded, who scored more than a certain points, who scored less than certain points, and also message students for whom the assignment has been reassigned. So let's go ahead and click on not, not yet submitted. And I'm going to go ahead and paste this message. This assignment is due November 15th. This is a quick reminder. Make sure you complete it before the due date. And please do not hesitate to contact me. Even though this looks as a general message, students will get a personalized message in their inbox. It kind of feels like you're taking time to message your students and this does have an impact. There will be at least 50% of students reaching back to you and saying, miss, this is what happened. Give me more time or I'm working on it. They know you care. Now, let me go ahead and click on scored more than. So I'm going to see how many students scored more than 90. Oh, I have 33 students who scored more than 90. I like that. Let me go ahead and delete this message. And let me go ahead and type something like this. I'm taking this opportunity to appreciate your hard work, keep up the good work, whatever you want to use. You can go ahead and uh, plug in those motivating quotes or messages for your students. Again, this will be a personalized message to your student. And trust me, they do enjoy when you send a personalized message. Just with one click, you can send these personalized messages to all your students. Students who have submitted, students who have not submitted, students who have scored a certain amount of points, all of them. So let me go ahead and check for students who have scored less than 70. Oops. Let me go ahead and type in 70. And I have 10 students who scored less than 70. You can go ahead and type in, say, you know, I have a, I know you have a reason for not doing good. How can I help you? Contact me. We have a game plan. These personalized messages do have an effect on your students. Now, this is one way of doing it. Now, all the way on the right hand side, you see show all recipients. When you click on this, you have an option to add or delete a recipient. Maybe a student already reached out to you and you do not want to include that student. You can simply go ahead and click on this little X option and the student is automatically deleted from this email or the, the bulk email that's been going out. If you want to add, simply go ahead and click on the plus sign and the student automatically is back into the email. So I'm going to go ahead and hide this. In addition to typing your message, you have an option to attach a file. Whatever file you want, you can go ahead and attach it. Maybe when you're sending notifications or reminders to your students, you might want to send your class notes as an extra resource. And here in this, the next option is recording an audio or video comment. I enjoy this and um, this does give a personalized touch in addition to personalized messages. So when I click on this record audio or video, if you have something recorded on your computer, you can go ahead and upload it or you can click this record option. And here is my other camera and you can click on start recording and say, I so proud of you. You did an amazing job in this assignment. Please keep up the good work. Or you can say, I'm here to answer your questions. I know you did not do 
will in the test reach out to me or hey it's a quick reminder finish your assignment so however you want to record you can go ahead and once you finish recording that automatically uploads to your message and all you have to do is click oops click send so i usually use this messaging system to message my students as a quick reminder to appreciate my students who have scored then scored above a certain grade and also reach out to those struggling students who scored below a certain grade and if you are a professor who wants to reach out to everyone you can have these personalized messages and simply copy and paste them and with just one click you will be reaching all your students I hope you enjoyed this quick session on how to message or reach your students using Canvas Gradebook. If you did, please make sure you like and subscribe. And if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so. They could be an educator who's really struggling to reach every student, but does not want to waste a ton of time. I will leave a link in the description box below for Microsoft Teams, Canvas and technology playlists. Do not forget to check them out. Leave a comment in the comment section below what you like about this great book messaging and what you don't like about this great book messaging. Like always, happy teaching and please take care of yourself.